Hey there everyone, this is Danielle checking out Neon White. Uh, this is a game from... the reason I was interested in it is because this game was made by a lot of the same folks who worked on Donut County, uh, which is another game that I absolutely adored. Uh, I'll put a card on this video if I can remember. <laughs> uh, but it is a very different kind of game. Uh, Donut County was a, a like cheerful, colourful, cartoony sort of puzzle game. Very chill. Uh, this one is a fast-paced parkour FPS kind of thing. A, a bit like Mirror's Edge, a bit like Super Hot, some, something in that sort of genre, I believe. I haven't played it yet. It says continue because while I was trying to get this recording set up, I restarted the game a bunch of times, but I haven't actually hit new game yet, so a bit weird. <laughs> Uh, before you get to this title screen, there is a cutscene that plays, uh, which I found it really tricky to get recorded normally, so I just downloaded the cutscene off their YouTube and I'll just play it now for you. <laughs> uh... We're called Neons. Sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work. But I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. Old friends, ex-lovers. Only one of us can stay in heaven, and I've got a score to settle. That's the intro. <laughs> oh, it's on Switch. Didn't know that. All right. Back to the game. <laughs> so yeah, that cutscene displays when you start the game, and there's no way to replay it in the game as far as I can see, so the easiest way to do it was just to do it like that. Uh, but you probably get the idea, you know? You've got these people with skull faces trying to kill each other. It feels a little bit like Hotline Miami almost in terms of the vibes, but I think it's a very different game to that. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the options. Uh, you can change your field of view, probably default is fine. Uh, you can mess with the controls. You can play with, uh... You can see it's it's got, like, control stick stuff, so you can play with a controller if you wish. So hit rebind controls. You can mess with all the buttons and they can do different things. <sighs> I don't really know what to expect at this point. Uh, I just got volume control there. You can mess with the resolution if you want, some basic stuff. Is that off? Or that's on, okay. Alright, let's give the game a shot. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any save data because I didn't actually click new game, so that... <laughs> Okay, there's a little loading icon under my face. Uh, it's gone now. <laughs> Should have known it was gonna end this way. And the game does have voice acting. God's sick sense of humor or something. People like me don't get second chances. But if I did, I swear I'd do it right. Visuals have a bit of a scan line look to them. It's so huh? I swear I was just in the middle of something. Can't remember a thing though. Where the heck am I? Yeah, there's like a vertical scanline thing, like you're looking at it on a Trinitron. I like that. Do I know these people? It's not really a scanline, like, it's a different thing. It's like a color, color stripe sort of thing in the, in the shadow mask, but I'm just gonna get nerdy. <laughs> Neons, rejoice! For you've arrived in glorious heaven! How oh, sweet. What? We are the believers, agents of God. And you, dead mortals, are what we refer to as neons, sinners that God has judged most unfavorably. Okay, I don't trust you one bit with that, with that uh, mommy voice you've got there. <laughs> 
Wait, am I meant to be in hell? But fret not, for we have granted you an opportunity for salvation in our annual competition, the Ten Days of Judgment. During these ten days, you neons will use your villainous talents to annihilate the demons invading our holy land. <laughs> is this for real? Okay, I think this is Neon White, our character. Hey, guess what? You died and God thinks you suck. Go kill some crap? <laughs> this plot is kind of reminding me of Catherine. A game which I do not recommend you play, so that's a bit weird. We'll see how we go. <laughs> you will each receive a soul card containing a weapon befitting your past. Whoa, badass. Soul card with a melee slash attack, not be discarded. The catch note reads, according to our records, White's ideal weapon is a totally sick samurai sword. <laughs> The most competent Demon Slayer will receive the ultimate reward, God's forgiveness, and your very own place in heaven. But first, some housekeeping. What the? You will now be known as Neon White. Do not forget, you are here in heaven as guests. These masks contain an explosive that we won't hesitate to detonate if you step uh, out of line. Wow, angels are pretty bashy. <laughs> Please refrain from removing them. Unless, of course, you'd prefer to go out in flames. <laughs> Yeesh. Guess lowly sinners shouldn't expect red carpet treatment, but heaven kind of seems like a racket. Yeah. And yet, forgiveness is strangely compelling to me. Like every inch of my body is calling out for it. It's almost painful. Who exactly did I used to be? Now then, go forth, catch your boat at the glass port. And kill every demon you find. We'll be counting. <laughs> All right. Demons, soul cards, no sweat. Memories might be hazy, but I don't need a tutorial on how to kick ass. I kind of do, so I'm hoping there is one. <laughs> they are going to do a tutorial, right? <laughs> oh, this game. Some of the writing here is definitely giving me the same sort of feel of... The same silly feel that uh, Donut County has, even though this game is quite a bit darker. <laughs> uh, move this last and look around with the mouse. Okay. Can I turn off that scan line filter? Is that like a thing in the video? Set? It doesn't seem to be. How the game looks, I guess. Jumping, jump with space. Replay the level as you gain like insight points. Is that the idea? Give another shot.
yeah. Oh, I see. Look, ghost playback level hint. So the more points you've gotten for a level, the more you can get out of it. Or something. Yeah, there's a goat. There's a gift collectible here somewhere. Oh, there's a platinum time. That. Yeah. Definitely move faster in the water, which I think is a bit of a hint. It's because I'm the best. Oh, it's ace, not platinum. Wait. Oh, I found the gift collectible. I don't know where that is. I'm guessing I, yeah, I can toggle these if I don't want to see him. Oh, it's up there. Can I jump the waterfalls or something? No. Last port. Seven demons. Okay, so I have to actually start killing things. Purify soul card. This soul card fires like a machine gun. Firing cards. Press left click to fire the current cards. What cards with Q? Back up there, please. Uh, I'm still figuring out how this game works. <laughs> oh, you can hold the button down to do more like that. Okay. You can probably do it much faster than that, but you get the idea. <laughs> Cleared it. Oh, still bronze. Not bad. I might just play through the first set so that I get a bit of hang of how the game works and then I can come back and optimize my times. Dunno. Okay, we've got some enemies that actually fire back now, I believe. We also have a lot of air control in this game, so you can dodge attacks and stuff very easily. Get up. I'll take it. Not too shabby. I must have been a real hardcore guy. I guess so. No way, bro! It's me, Yellow! It has been a minute, man. Hey, Yellow. <laughs> this guy. Even with a mask on, I recognize him from earlier. I can tell I know him. But just vaguely. Holy crap, you got the freaking anime sword? I thought for sure you'd get one of those little guns like the, uh, what's it called? Like gnomes use? Uh, gnomes? <laughs> just messing, just messing. I know you're a badass. So why the hell does an idiot like this seem to remember me perfectly? Are you okay, man? No, actually. I, uh, seem to be missing my memories. Can you fill me in? What, for real? We rode together for years, bro. Got up to some crazy stuff. You were my Sasuke, man. The darkness to my light. <laughs> uh... You know, I'll save 
save your life once. Took a bullet for you, dude. Really? Nah, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Seriously, dude. We should this voice acting's pretty good. Like old times. Then I could save you for real from those like demon freaks or something. Yeah. Um. Appreciate the offer, but no thanks. I work alone. I could be like, pow, and you could be like, because of the sword, you know? I wonder if I get to play as the other Neons at some point. Uh huh. Sure. Good meeting you. Don't think, feel, bro. Elevate Soul Card. This Soul Card fires like a handgun. Discard ability. Trick is a second jump, try it midair. Ooh, how do I discard? Oh, yeah. Right click to discard, I think. Oh, gold already. Good for me. <laughs> you get the gift, you get the ghost, and you get the hint. Oh, drink up. I'm a better neon. setup because it's kind of kind of a little bit of card game <laughs> because like yeah you're, you're playing cards out of your deck and you can out of your hand and you can discard them and it has special effects or you can use them to shoot stuff but it's not exactly a card game that's just sort of the aesthetic they went through because you don't really have a deck and it's interesting it's interesting Jump on a balloon beam to kill it and bounce into the air. Oh, okay. girl I saw from earlier? Uh, hey, mind letting go of my shirt? Uh, there was this huge demon chasing after me! <sighs> Looks like I lost it. You'd protect me if it came back though, right? Sorry, I got a boat to like catch. The collar? You're on your own, kid. <laughs> she looks pretty great. You know how I feel about being called Kid White. I actually don't remember. Amnesia? Side effect of dying, it seems. Uh, seriously? You're not alone. I've lost some memories, too. Like, I can't even remember how to use a gun, which makes this whole situation extra scary. I'm not sure how I feel about this characterization. Won't you at least show me how? Please, please, please. I don't know. I should probably get going. If we see some other women who are written very differently to this character, I'm, I'm cool with it. Otherwise, I'm not so sure. You wouldn't really abandon a cute girl like me, would you? I know you don't remember, but you were once a great teacher. <laughs> Mr. White. <laughs> I... I was? Wait, how well, is his mask blushing? Okay, fine. <laughs> I can spare a second, I guess. 
You want to bend your knees a bit. Arms extended, but not locked. <sighs> Is this good? Yeah, but keep it steady. You should use both hands and fill any open spaces on the grip with your fingers. Oh, there's something kind yeah, of I get it. She's floating with about us. this, huh, Mr. White? Hold hard metal in my hands. That hint of danger. <laughs> Your hot breath on the back of my neck? Uh, anyway, you'll learn faster by doing. I really like her aesthetic, but the way she's written is... Hmm. <laughs> like this? Uh, holy crap. Are you sure you forgot? I think she was I pretending to forget. Time. Well, you know, it's like you said, I'm a great teacher. Uh... I'm kind of in the same boat with White here. I'm just awkward and uncomfortable with this situation. It's Violet. Don't go forgetting this time. Oop. Race you to the ship! Oh, you are still Violet. trying to get to the boat. That's right. Here, girl. Shoot. I better get moving. Uh, pure five bombs destroy red breakable walls. Ah, oh, okay. Oh! That launches you up, apparently. Wasn't really expecting that. Destroy groups of enemies. I could have done that faster if I wasn't so startled by the explosion. <laughs> Make it just one, one more try so I can do that a little bit better. Didn't even break a sweat. I like White's voice acting. It, 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 it's not the same voice sort of voice acting, but it kind of reminds me of Zagreus, where like he looks super edgy, but the way he sounds is pretty chill, so you're not bothered. That makes sense. I don't know, like it, like the way Zagreus is designed in his game, he looks like this like edge bro type of guy, but. When, when you actually play Hades, he's he's really chill. He's just like, yeah, I'm I'm escaping. Oh, oh, hey, hey, Meg, what's up? Oh, oh, you're gonna kill me? All right. <laughs> Get that one out already, by accident. Away when I throw it. Okay. Okay, that's better. Time is not going to be very good. What's next? Runs. I think you get bronze every time you do it. It doesn't look like times. There's a specific time for bronze. I wasn't that bad actually. It's just slightly off silver. 
It wasn't good though. <laughs> Another one down. I went better. <laughs> Music's pretty good. Oh, you can just press F to restart? Oh, that's really good. I've been going to the menu every time, which is much slower. <laughs> There was a car back there. Uh, F. Yeah, that is much better. Okay. Try to use a bomb there. Ah. <laughs> oh, it worked. I mean, it worked. Getting too easy. Behind you. Oh, near red. Hello. Whoa. Demon Zero Red 100. Long time no see, White. Rockets made of belts. <laughs> nice her from before. So this girl is. You're staring. Quick, say something cool, White. That is a massive rifle. <laughs> Want a taste? What? Uh, that's okay. Seriously, please don't point that thing at me. Relax. I just like to see you sweat. In that case, you should watch me wipe the floor with demons sometime. Eh, I'll pass. I've seen a lifetime of that kind of thing. I don't know about this uh, approach to female characters. <laughs> you know, this is actually the first time I've seen you here. In the competition, I mean. Makes me wonder, do you think this will end for us the way it did in life? See, I'd love to answer that, but I woke up with no memories of life. Not that I don't recognize you, it's just the details are fuzzy. So far though, I feel the strongest connection to you. <clears throat> Damn it, White. Why would you say something so lame to a girl? How bizarre. I've never heard of a neon with such an affliction. You're not messing with me, are you? I have no reason to lie to you. Is that so? Can't believe God himself decided to bless me with the thing <laughs> I love most. A completely clueless boy. Okay, that's that line's good. <laughs> This isn't fun for me, you know. Well, it is for me. We could have been lovers in life, and you'd be none the wiser. Were we? Lovers? I could know every last one of your measurements. I don't know about that one. Be serious here. We've got a long boat ride ahead. Maybe you could fill me in on the details of my character, or even your relationship to me. <laughs> I don't know, White. Honestly. It's probably easier this way. For both of us. 
What? Hey, wait! Where are you going? All aboard the ship to Central Heaven! Stragglers will be returned to Oblivion. Yes! Don't think I made it this far last time! <laughs> this really is my first rodeo. I'm not half bad. Is that what Red meant? That it's easier for me to focus on demon slaying without memories of past transgressions weighing me down? If that were really true, then why is it that the fire that propels me to win feels a whole lot like guilt? Hmm. Heaven straight up confirmed I'm messed up. That's why I'm a neon, isn't it? I mean, is this heaven? I've been told it's heaven. Can we trust them? Yellow, violet, and red, they're the same. Sinners know me more than I know myself. Looks like demons aren't the only things I gotta watch out for. Not bad for a dead guy, huh? Mission complete, complete, complete. Heaven is... Exactly what I expected. I don't know why I'm so disappointed. Oh, what? Hi. Wanna walk to the Believer Sermon together? Yo, bro, you made it! <laughs> Kick a lot of demon ass. <laughs> like it was nothing. Oh, I'm telling you, bro, with our, like, combined powers, those demons are donezo. Right! We're gonna be late! Oh snap, Violet! Is that you? This is crazy! <laughs> so, were these, these colors their actual names in life? Because they seem to know each other by those names. It's like the gang's all here! And Come Violet's on. a name. Yellow is not commonly a name. <laughs> I'm sorry, do I know you? Are we all mutuals here? Yeah, man! Violet was our crew's littlest badass. She's also mad freaky. Like this one time I read her diary, and she had written this crazy fanfic about her and the bot. What the hell? Ow, 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 Violet! <laughs> Cut it out! Let's see how much you like talking without a tongue, bastard! That was a cool line. <laughs> Uncle, uncle, uncle. I, I, I'm enjoying having having Violet beat the shit out of this guy. As as much I'm not so sure on her character, but that's cool. <laughs> they may be freaks, but they're my freaks, supposedly. I guess we're going on to mission two now. Welcome to Central Heaven. It is an honor for your kind to bask in its beauty. Yeah, these guys are sus as fuck. But remember, this is no vacation. You are here as demon exterminators and demon exterminators alone. Their population always spirals out of control this time of year. Where do demons come from? Are they ex-neons? Is this a Madoka Magica? It's onerous work, but the possibility of redemption is well worth the effort, is it not? And on that note, we'd like to introduce last year's winner of the Ten Days of Judgment. So are there ten missions? Is that why they keep saying ten days? Or did that one we just did not count and there are eleven? Or is that just not related to the links of the game? Defending his crown is the Vicious, hulking, neon green. Yeah. What is what is he doing? Still being in the in the days of judgment. If he won last time, shouldn't he no longer be a neon? Hmm. Hmm. What's with this guy? His presence is so intense. His outfit's also made of belts. Why does it feel like he's staring directly at me? And he's still masked too. I don't think you get to leave this game by winning it, even though they said you did. Why do I feel so angry? 
Green's demon-slaying prowess has been unrivaled for years, but surely there exists a Neon among you all who can compete? He doesn't seem so tough. Oh? That church is dismissed. Make your way to Central Heaven Authority and get your orders from the angels there. Some of the voice clips don't match what's on screen. It said Central Heaven Authority just then. Hmm. Episode 2, Killer Inside. End days until judgment. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got like a menu thing here. Cathedral, Believers, Park. Beach. Oh, you go to Heaven's Gate to actually play the missions, I think. Huh? What's all this commotion about? It's Pina Colada Day at the pool. So? Heaven's Pina Coladas are to die for. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, no, you won't. Filthy neons like you are simply not allowed here. I really... A sinner partaking in heaven's delights? <laughs> Heresy! <laughs> Don't think we're in heaven That's right bull. Now. If I gotta do you bastards dirty work, the least you can do is serve me a drink. Stay back, Neon! Or I'll have you blown to bits! Uh. Are you psting at me? You said you wanted a drink, right? I know a place. Uh, I don't know if I should trust a talking cat. Yeah, I get ya. I wouldn't trust one of those either. Good thing I'm an angel. Well, come on, follow me. Uh, fine. Ta-da! Welcome to the Neon Bar. You like it? Whoa, it's not like the rest of heaven, that's for sure. I'm into it. <laughs> Thanks. I put it together myself. So, uh, who exactly are you? You can call me Raz. I'm the bartender here. Hey, Raz. And you are? White. Well, white. Good to meet you. Believers don't come around these parts anymore. So, it's the perfect place for neons to take a load off and enjoy a drink in peace. <laughs> I like the sound of that. So what do you have? How about one of those pina coladas? On it. Here you go. What the? This is literally just water. Sorry. The believers are hogging all the real stuff. How can you call this a bar if you don't serve any booze? See? You're thinking too narrow. A bar if you one guy and bite it in another guy about his really, really what? <laughs> I'm just saying, the friend and folks in heaven has its benefits. You'd be surprised by what you can gain from chatting people up. And oh, a relationship system. The believers wouldn't accept my pina colada patronage. I doubt they'd let me into their crappy gift shop. Well, no, but you can find gifts all over heaven. Once you've taken care of your missions, you can do a second sweep to hunt for presents. Sounds like a pain. Why? Why? True friendship is always worth the effort. <sighs> and hey, if you give me a gift, you might just put a squirt of lemon in your water. Oh. Hmm? Don't you have a mission to do? Heaven is pretty dope, eh, White? Just wait till you try the ice cream. Welcome to the Heavenly Delights Kiosk. Oh, cool. What's this all about? Top-ranking neons are granted special early access to the Heavenly Delights which await them, should they win. 
again, I don't think anything good happens when you win because Neon Green is still here. Just bring me any Heavenly Delight tickets you earn to redeem them. Sounds lame. It's anything but. Just take a look at the prize board to see what those tickets will earn. Would you like to redeem a ticket? You have this many. <laughs> I see what you did there. Here's what you can earn with Heavenly Delight tickets. Oh, the final Heavenly Delight is a sword? You've got good taste, sir. It's a rare collectible. This might not be so bad after all. Would you like to redeem a ticket? Take care. You don't have any tickets. That must have been real traumatizing because I don't remember it at all. But it worked hard so I don't have to go back and find out. Maybe, maybe you're there right now. Maybe this is hell. What is this place? This is the mosque shrine. That mosque of yours comes from here. You mean they didn't make this one just for me? <laughs> I'm afraid not. Your mosque was here before you arrived. And will be here long after you're gone. That's not comforting at all. Thanks. Oh well. Well, the sign says this is my room. Ooh. This is my room? Well, I can't complain too much. I do like those little cherub guys. Huh? What's this? I remember now. But no one found it after I died. Oh, I see. We can look up the characters and see how much we know about each of them. Okay. I hate how perfect this beach looks. I feel like I should toss something in there. Next time. Hey. Uh, I'm here for my assignment. You will get new assignments from Mr. Mikey. I'm his secretary. Then let me talk to him. Is Mikey a cat too? Just let me read the script. This doesn't have to be difficult. Unless you'd like that, Mr. White. Proceed. All Neons must achieve a minimum Neon rank in order to be granted a new assignment. What's a Neon rank? Your neon rank is determined by the number of gold or aces. Oh, okay, so you need those for progression. Missions. More gold or aces means a better rank. Let's see. My neon rank is this. Is that good enough? Well, look at that. Your neon rank is sufficient to move on to a new assignment. You've earned yourself a heavenly delight ticket. How fun. One moment while I check on Mr. Mikey's schedule. Have a seat. Mr. Mikey will see you in about four hours. Four hours? Why? No one else is here. <laughs> There's got to be somebody I can speak with sooner. I'll look into that for you. After my legally mandated break. And when will that be? About four hours. All right. This is ridiculous. I'm going in. Hey, I'm working here. Oh, hi, Mikey. <laughs> Interesting design. You ever heard a knocking kid? Look, I expect this much from the DMV, but I'm not waiting four hours for my stupid mission in heaven. What the? Four hours? Oh, yeah. Always the jokes. I'll get to your ugly mug once I finish up with the lady here. It's fine. I don't mind if he stays. Red? Suit yourself, sweetheart. How did he not say that she was there? Go ahead, wise guy. Take a freaking seat. Now, listen up, because I'm only going to say this once. You got ten days here. New day, new mission from all Mikey. The HCA will be rating your performance alongside the other competing neons. And whoever has the top score end of day ten wins. Capiche? Capiche. 
For your first assignment, you jokers will be cleaning out lower heaven. Sounds easy enough. <sighs> Schmucks like you always say that and then don't even make it back to my office on day two. Because the demons got him, White. <laughs> yeah, I kind of got that. Anyway, that just about covers it. Any questions? Yeah, actually. Why are you a cat? Okay, you're just saying whatever to me now. Honestly, disrespect. I was actually wondering the same thing. Why are you a hilarious cartoon cat? Exactly. Thanks, Red. Glad we're on the same page. You neons are all the same. Always telling me what moronic imagery your pea brain. Oh, okay, so he's actually a bee, not afraid. He just looks like a cat because we can't comprehend that. We're afraid of it. We'd be afraid. <laughs> oh, you're a cat. You're a horse. You're a sexy Statue of Liberty. How about a, hey, Mikey, how's your day, Mikey? You must work so hard, Mikey. Uh, excuse me, I'm here for my appointment. Hey, White, isn't it freaking crazy that John Cena is here in heaven giving us <laughs> missions? That's it. Everybody out. Wait, so White and Red both see him as a cartoon cat, but... The yellow sees him as John and Cena? Come back till you finish your missions. Okay. And Gabby, can you please keep these neons under control? Huh. Hey, Red, before you go, I wanted to ask you if you, uh, knew what the deal is with Green. Stay away from him. Uh-huh. Okay. Mind elaborating on that? He's... dangerous. Need I say more? I could use some convincing. I suppose I could open up more, in exchange for a favor. Wait, really? <clears throat> I mean, yeah, whatever you want. I'm on it. Keep your pants on, White. I need some time to decide what I... Yeah, I don't first. love the way the women in this game are written. When will that be? Like, I like Gabby. After this mission? <laughs> it was fun. at the cathedral? Oh, right, because I got a heaven ticket. Welcome to What's this top ranking neon. Just sounds lame. It's any. Would you like to redeem a ticket? Here's my ticket. Splendid. One moment, please. Congratulations. Oh, and they're not voiced. Looks like you're entitled to one, one heavenly delight. Yeah, yeah, let's get this over with. Now then, it's like the delight for today is... Ice cream! Seriously? I sound so disappointed. It's very good ice cream. What flavours are there? Why don't you and the other top scorer find out for yourselves? Wait. The other top scorer? I'm telling you, bro, the ice cream here rips. You good? What's wrong? You're not a lactose intolerable, are ya? You mean lactose intolerant? Then no. I just don't think so. So what's the problem? Well... Mmm! Mmm! -hmm. It's so good! Can you believe we can get as much of this as we can eat anytime we want? Why is this part not voiced? That's weird. I'm gonna toss this one out and try some new flavors. The atmosphere kind of sucks. Bro. Bro, ice cream is ice cream. Who cares where you have it? It's actually very important where you have it. I'd say the ideal setting for eating ice cream is a nice hot day surrounded by friends. Not a bunch of high and mighty assholes. Dude, just ignore them. I can't. I literally can't. Okay, dude, for real. Just look into my eyes while you eat your ice cream and let everything else disappear. No, that's weird. We don't need to do that. What do we need to do then? Because, bro, no cap. I will do whatever it takes up to enjoy this reward. Really? Really. Really, really. Would you even... Put your ice creams with me? What's wrong with your cookie dough? I didn't realize it wasn't what I wanted when I saw you eating your chocolate chunk. <laughs> Of course I will switch ice cream with you, that's what bros are for! Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, what the hell? 
what's just left of yours is the melted crap in the cone. Give me mine back. <laughs> Sorry, no take backs. Brr. That was a weird scene. <laughs> uh, let's go to Heaven's Gate now. Is it Job Archive? Okay, so I can go back and play any of these in order to go back and find the presents and stuff. But I can also start my new mission. Let's have a look at it. I will, I will go back at some point and check out the other stuff, but you can die. Right. There you are! Team, Team up with me. me! Okay, that's violet and yellow? <laughs> Jinx, Vi! You owe me a coat. <sighs> coat? Ah, yellow? Quit getting in my way! In the vibe that she doesn't like him very much. Come on, White! Join me! I'm clearly the cutest choice here. I don't know. I'm pretty freaking cute. I do like that everyone seems to be flirting with White, including Yellow. Like, it would be worse if only the women were flirting with him, but it's nice that Yellow was doing it too. Guys, guys, I'm flattered, but this is a competition. It's still not great. It, it still feels a little skeezy the way the women are written in this game. <laughs> I'm not here to make friends. I'd like to avoid any drama. Yeah, well, I totally get you. Drama is the worst. That's why we should all team up, just like old times. Oh, no way! Three's a crowd. I'd rather eat my own pancreas. Oh, come on, Vi. You sure? Again, Lone Wolf here. I'm not teaming up with anyone. You know, I met this other Neon earlier who was a total simp. Maybe I'll just go play with him instead. <laughs> Did you just say simp? <laughs> what is this game? Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. See you around, White. Well, looks like it's just you and me, bro. <laughs> just don't lag behind. Are we playing together now? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> no. Yeah, I need to grab that extra elevator and we'll get through. Like that. Okay, let's keep it going. Dash for a long from direction you're aiming. Oh, so I can tie. Nice. Didn't even break a sweat. And my rank went up, looks like a gold. I assume we can get to rank one, which means there's quite a few missions in this game. Correctly, but it's probably not a big deal. <laughs> no. 
Not yeah, bad. it is silver. You can definitely do better than that. See what happens if I go back to Harb after a level, if it lets me resume from where I'm up to. So uh, I'll try that up at this level. Oh, it's over there. Oh no, too far, too far. Oh, and I just made it. That was not a good time. Let's get yeah. started. Go to hub? Yes. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I go back to Heaven's Gate. I'll continue mission, so from where, where I left off. In the job archive. Yeah, I can actually go back and play any of it. That looks the things. I can just replay all the levels I want. Alright, so we're coming up on an hour. Uh, I think I have a bit of a sense of how this game works now. Um, I really like the actual main gameplay mechanic, the parkour, shooty, comboing cards together kind of thing. It's really fun. It flows really well. It feels extremely, extremely fluid, and it's very nice. Um, the stuff around the game, it feels... But I, I compare, compare the story a little bit to Catherine, uh, a game which I don't recommend, uh, because Atlas are bad, but it, it does kind of feel kind of like I'm playing an Atlas game, uh, with like the relationship stuff and the like conversations that you have outside of outside of the actual gameplay, and the, the, the way it's been set out, it feels a lot like one of their games. Uh, and uh, like a lot of their games, it feels misogynistic. <laughs> I'm concerned about that. Uh, it's possible it'll turn out to be better. Um, like, as the characters get expanded upon, we're getting more of a sense of who they are, and it might not be quite as questionable as it feels. If they bring in, you know, some more other Neons for us to talk to, besides the core cast we've met in the first chapter, uh, we might get a broader range of personalities and it might feel a little less uncomfortable. <laughs> as I mentioned, I'm glad that Neon Yellow floats with you as well. Because uh, he, he's fun. He's just this, this dude bro who thinks you're, you're cute. <laughs> it, it works nicely. Um, and I mostly like how Red is wit written, how she's quite dominant, <laughs> let's say. Um, she's, she's fun. She's not perfect. She has some weird lines, but I think she's alright. My main problem was with Violet. I don't like how Violet is written. I'm concerned about that. It's possible she's putting that on in order to manipulate us into underestimating her, that kind of thing. In which case, good, because that would slap. And I really want to meet her actual personality, but... <laughs> Uh, if that's not what they're going for, if this is just what she's like, I think they've made a misstep in writing it that way. <laughs> oh, jeez. But yeah, the main gameplay loop is extremely fun. Uh, like the fast-paced levels of jumping around and shooting stuff real quick, and trying to optimize it so that you can do stuff as efficiently as possible. And the levels are all, like, really short. The optimal times are less than a minute, generally. 
Uh, so if you do mess things up and don't do things perfectly, it's very quick to retry and have another go. And like, there's, clear, there's a decent amount of replay value here because you can't even get presents the first time you play a level, you have to replay the level to get them. And it's adding more hints and it's adding your, your ghost to help you optimize your times and stuff as you go, which is cool. Uh, so I think that's a nice, a nice way of designing that. Um, I definitely think the video should have a toggle somewhere to get rid of this Trinitron effect that's over the entire screen. Like, it looks good, uh, but I don't think it would work super well for everyone, if that makes sense. Uh, just more as an accessibility concern than anything else. Just being able to see stuff more clearly uh, without this filter over the top of it. Even if it is a nice looking filter. Uh, speaking of accessibility, like, this game is not easy. Uh, like, I was having trouble with the times and I'm pretty good at this kind of stuff. So, like, it would be nice to have some sort of low mode or something that lets you give you a bit more reaction time. I don't know how, how you'd implement that, but like, some kind of assist mode would be nice. And as far as I can tell, there isn't one. Suppose you do get at least a bronze if you could finish the level at all, but you need gold or ace in order to actually progress because that's how your neon rank goes up, so you, you do need to have good times to complete this game. So, it's a little complicated. I have, yeah, mixed feelings about this game. Uh, I do think it's super duper fun and I'm glad I have it and I'm going to play more of it. Uh, but there's some things that I have a few questions about. <laughs> I also really hope you can play as other characters, uh, because, like, it shows that little graphic of, of white at the bottom of the screen there all the time in gameplay, and, and that gives me the vibe that potentially someone else's face could show up there and you'd be playing as them, but I don't know if the game actually works that way. It'd be cool, though. Uh, I don't think it- I guess it wouldn't affect things that much. I mean, it might, because your starting card is unique to the character, right? Like, uh, Neon White's card is, is Katana, I think Red has that big rifle. Uh, I don't know what Yellow and Violet's weapons are. I, I guess that little pistol Violet had might have been a base weapon? I don't know. But, like, yeah, it, it would change up the gameplay a bit if you can replay these levels as other Neons who have a different base card, and potentially like, maybe even all the cards do different things, depending on who's wielding them. That would be neat. Um, like, potentially sort of a Slay the spire -y kind of thing, where the game style, like, shifts out, shifts around pretty dramatically. You get new mechanics if you're playing someone else. That would be cool. I don't know if the game does that. <laughs> uh... So, yeah, um... That's, that's Neon White. Uh, I like it. I do have some concerns. It's possible as the game evolves, some of those concerns, like, evolves through the story, some of those concerns will turn out to be not so concerning, which I'm hoping for. Uh, because I do know we have to wipe the room here. Like, I can see as we give people gifts and increase the insight, we unlock a bunch more dialogue and side quests with them, so it's completely possible that how these characters have been presented in the mandatory cutscenes is not accurate to how they'll actually be, uh, like, once we've gotten to know them a bit better. That, that would, like, it would make sense, right? I'm guessing that's green? I feel it was kind of like green. Hmm. But yeah, the mandatory cutscenes we've seen, I don't like how Violet is characterised, and I'm a little concerned about how Red's characterised too. They're, they're both... Again, Red is better, but neither of them feel quite right. <laughs> Gameplay-wise though, this is super fun and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, so, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got a sense of whether this is something you might want to play, or whether this is something that made some really terrible writing decisions that make you uncomfortable. <laughs>
or whether it made some okay writing decisions, but you'd still be happy to play it, because the, even if the writing isn't fantastic, or, you know, there's a couple of possibilities here. The voice acting is very good. I'll give it that. Like, even for these characters who are not written super well, they're acted in a way that is appropriate to the character. That makes sense. And it's good. Um, but yeah, that's about all i got to say. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>